Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habita fillah A question was out, was asked about uh, a khula and a khula meaning involving issues of marriage and divorce and a khula is a fesh nikah uh, is a, the dissolution of the marital contract and what I wanted to point out with regards to this question and other questions related to it is very, very important. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. And first and foremost, what I would advise when regarding these issues is that you ask from your local imams that when it regards to adjudication, uh, in disputes and uh, these issues that you go to those people who are local who have knowledge from the imams and students of knowledge if you're in the UK there are many if you're in America there are also many uh, I'm sure in France uh, all, all over the non-Muslim world as well as the Muslim world of course first and foremost that there are countless uh, imams that are grounded in these uh, subject matters and that they have some sort of authority in order to deal with these issues. So my advice that if you're in America, go to your local imam. If you are in the UK, then go to your local imam and present your situation about the khula and about the talaq and what was said and this, your marital issues. And what we find, even from our ulama, for several reasons, like Imam Abdul Masin al Abad, that I heard uh, more than one occasion that he does not deal with uh, those issues when people ask about talaq and those kind of uh, and khula and those issues. Not because he's not an alim who doesn't know and hasn't studied countless, countless books and given countless, countless durus and being a major scholar, but rather out of taqwa, out of fear of Allah, number one, with regard to those situations and the disputes and the discord. And secondly, uh, the issue, of course, being in a Muslim land, that these issues are referred to the hakam, to the uh, judges, and they have Islamic courts. Being in the West, you don't have those Islamic courts, mostly. So, therefore, you're, as Imam uh, Fozan mentioned, the Marcus Islami or the uh, Islamic, uh, your local masajid or your local inst um, institutes or dawah centers or what have you, that they play the role of uh, the judge and leadership responsibilities. So, reiterating my advice, Go to your local imam, explain your situation, the complexities of your situation, and fear Allah as much as you can. And if you're not comfortable with that for whatever reason, then try to present your question to one of the scholars or one of the students who can, uh, either who are grounded in the, those topic areas or who can uh, present your question to an alim or a scholar to benefit you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.